Good morning everyone, uh, welcome to the YouTube channel, Joe's Bus Train Plan Lift Adventures, hope you're all keeping good and uh, we just had our breakfast over there at uh, McDonald's, what used to be known as Hurricanes, Hurricanes and also Santa Fe and uh, this is our first full day here in Orlando and what would we do on our first day here in Orlando? Well today we are going to Volcano Bay at the Universal Orlando Resort which also includes Universal Studios and Universal's Islands of Adventure uh, referred as Islands of Adventure for most people and uh, Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios are like the two theme parks and of course you've got uh, Universal City Walk which uh, is in between the two parks and that also includes the world's largest Hard Rock Cafe and there's a couple of other restaurants and a bit of shops uh, within the area and to get to those areas you have to go across uh, the moving walkways there's like the Sky Bridge, Skylink walkway uh, just like at Manchester Airport back in the UK but however that one is like half open compared to the one at Manchester so we're on our way to Universal now and uh, as you probably know Volcano Bay opened in 2017 replacing the former water park on International Drive uh, called Wet and Wild which opened in 1977 uh, the year when they had some good music back in the day from the Bee Gees etc <laughs> and uh, we're now going east onto the I-4 and over there is Golden Corral the buffet going straight ahead goes towards um, Disney Springs and then you do a, a left turn towards Disney Springs so we're just going on to the uh, the i4 now as you know uh, driving in the in the US uh, is a lot different compared to being in the UK because you're actually driving on the opposite side uh, so it is different but obviously this is like a passenger's point of view um, on the I-4 and uh, just coming up uh, on our right hand side is the Orlando Premium Outlets uh, at Vyland, Lake Buena Vista uh, which is not far from where we are staying Sheraton Vistana so there are some nightly lane closures now this is a little bit congested on this part because it's a bit like being on the M5 and the M6 so there's some HGV lorries, uh, Mayusk, um, because obviously Mayusk is more is, is like an international company, so we're just changing lanes. And uh, so there's the Vineland shopping, the Vineland premium outlets. As you know, the majority of the outlets here, they all have like tower structures, just makes it more presentable for the tourists who come here to Florida. And um, very nice so there's the that's the Vineland there so here we go we're just about to begin our journey to um, uh, to the Universal complex and over there there is a McDonald's over there as well and uh, this part that part there is actually an extension part to the uh, premium outlets which includes the Saks Fifth Avenue off fifth and there's also a Forever 21 as well so here we go and just coming in the background over there is SeaWorld the SeaWorld theme park uh, which includes rides such as Kraken uh, which has recently been retracked into the green colour which I will probably refer to as its nickname Kraken Reborn not to be confused with Nemesis Reborn at Alton Towers and of course there's a uh, Manta which is a bit like uh, Galactica that used to be formerly known as Air at Alton Towers the Maiko attraction uh, which is somewhat a bit like the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and um, so there's a bit of construction work going on over there I don't know what that used to be uh, so it's been a while since we've last been to Florida and of course we've got the Journey to Atlantis attraction, the pipeline and the icebreaker 
uh, and also the encounters and of course there's the sky tower we went on that sky tower six years ago it was a brilliant view however it is chargeable though and uh, obviously you would have, you would have thought that the sky tower would have been included in the price uh, when you're going to sea world but no it's actually separate um so anyway here's i drive coming up there's the rosen center there and over there's the the wheel so the wheels behind those houses uh known, formerly known as the orlando i so there's a sign for sea world and sea world also consists of two other tropical places like the discovery cove and of course aquatica that opened in 2008 uh, so Aquatica was the water park that opened just before Volcano Bay. So here we are, we're on our way. So we're going along and here's a sign here for Cape Canaveral and International Airport, which would be Sanford in the Seminole Town County. Oh, and also Orlando International. You can get this way to the International Airport at Orlando. And uh, Cape Canaveral is actually not far from when you get towards Melbourne because that is where Tui now fly into because they don't fly into Sanford into the Seminole Town County they now fly into Melbourne because I want to be close to Cape Canaveral uh, Port Canaveral sorry so anyway that way goes to the International Airport that's where we flew in yesterday bit of a crane going on there a little bit like a mini version of Spaghetti Junction here and look how congested that is that is definitely the fun part there <laughs> So we're on our way to a, to a place that's full of excitement and possibilities. Right, here we go, on our travels now. So 75A uh, for iDrive and 75B for Kirkman Road. And there's a advertising here for Disney's Hollywood Studios for the Star Wars, because obviously there's now Star Wars land that's now open at uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios. Sadly, we're not doing Disney this time around, but we are doing Universal, SeaWorld, and Bush. And uh, 74A includes the world's largest McDonald's, Whole Foods, Denny's, Chick-fil-A, and Golden Corral. Um, so Golden Corral is like a buffet steakhouse. So anyway, over there is the Orlando Eye with the, with the Star Flyer. There's actually, I've actually been on the Starflyer, but smaller than that, at Treasure Island in Stourport on Severn, Worcestershire, in the Midlands, uh, back in the UK. So Universal Studios, we've got our exit at 75A, uh, which also includes the iconic Volcano Bay. And just about to come into view is, of course, the centerpiece of the, of the place where we're going to today, Volcano Bay and also exited 74A for a Burger King as well as you know uh, in America you've got like the brands you'll find in the UK with the likes of Krispy Kreme Donuts, McDonald's, Burger King and KFC so anyway 482 Sun Lake Road and International Drive and um, there's the there's a Rosen Inn and, over, and down there is where the world's largest McDonald's is located somewhere and there's the Sheraton so there's the uh, so, so there's the McDonald's over there and of course down there you've got the Sheraton uh, Four Points Hotel and here is the Coco Key Water Resort Water Park um, which is uh, and obviously it's not open yet the water park but I oh, know there will be loads of folks who will be going there. Quite a lot of folks. And there's Cabana Bay, which is one of the hotels by um, by uh, Volcano Bay. And then, of course, uh, you have like, there's the Double Tree hotels there. Four Point Sheraton, that is a little bit like the Rotonda building in uh, Birmingham just by the Bull Ring Shopping Centre and over there's the city of Orlando, downtown Orlando and Wet and Wild was down that end that's now been replaced by endless summer surfside and dockside and for those people who watched the Despicable 3 
YouTube channel. Hover over if you want to watch their channel because obviously they always go on about their, those type of hotels. So I'm shouting out to Steph and Jim, Jimmy of Despicable 3. Um, so uh, I really enjoy your videos, especially when you were there at one time when you were coming back home in 2021 when you were rerouted via Punta Cana to get back into Manchester. Uh, but as always, I really do enjoy your videos. All right, here we are. We are just now arriving at the Universal Orlando Resort. Now, as you know, uh, the Universal Orlando Resort uh, parking arrangements, uh, it's in a parking garage, a bit like going on to an airport, as you can guess. And there's the Sky Bridge, the, like the Skylink Walkway, which is open air here. And there's bus services that go to different uh, hotels across this uh, borough. It's like Universal Bus Station. So here we are just arriving at the entry at the gates. So we're going to get into whatever lane's available. So I think, so we're actually in this lane here. So I'll see you once we've gone through the barrier. Okay, then we just parked in the cat in the hat section of the Universal Orlando parking deck on the lower level. And uh, as you probably know, the Universal parking deck is themed to all the Universal characters. So you haven't only got cat in the hat, you've also got Jurassic Park, Jaws, also King Kong, and also you've got Spider-Man. And as well as that... You have E.T. So anyway, we're going to board the shuttle bus that will take us over to Volcano Bay. But unfortunately, uh, due to many people being on the bus, I couldn't even film the bus. So I will see you once we get to the main entrance bit as we head for Volcano Bay on the underpass. All right, then we are now in the parking structure here. Uh, to the Universal Orlando Resort and we are going over to Volcano Bay on a bus. Yes, we're going on a bus to the Volcano Bay Water Park and uh, the section we are in is the Cat in the Hat which is actually a ride over at Seuss Landing at uh, Universal Islands Adventure and it is one of the dark rides. So let's crack on so I will see you on the bus. So then, unfortunately, I couldn't film the buses. That's because I was standing and there was no seats. So now we've got to go down the underpass, which is right here, that will take us into the grounds of Volcano Bay. Of course, we've got some ceiling fans here. Very impressive. So we're just going to go down this ramp, and then we've got to do, and then we've got to come to a turn point. So, um, so it's um, so good uh, roof there. So the next part here, we've got to go through this tunnel on the underpass. These underpasses look very nice. Got nice theme music on that on the J on the JBL on the JBL amplifiers. On the JBL, and of course there's escalators here. Um, walkway to Volcano Bay, there's escalator or walkway, there is no elevators, so that means you have to use the escalators, or there's a walkway for the disabled use. So here they are, Volcano Bay, Universal Orlando Resort, Orlando, Florida. Coming up to the level of Volcano Bay. Very nice and themed here. Very impressive. And here is the entrance. So here is the entrance right here. Of course, got water geysers there. So we're going to go into this foyer. So there's Cabana Bay up there. Well, part of the Cabana Bay. And if you watch Mac Blogs on his YouTube channel, feel free to subscribe to his channel as well. So water fountains. Very nice. 
here at the Volcano Bay. And uh, here we are in this building. Reminds me a bit of Barbados Grampy Adams Airport. Anyway, we're in and we got the special watches on, uh, which is called Tapu Tapu. So we are in the park now. And um, we are going to the centerpiece, which is Jewel in the Crown of the Water Park. So, very nice theme in here. And there it is the volcano. So, here at Volcano Bay. And the volcano is here within the wave pool. The wave machine will be starting. Okay, here is the volcano, the Jewel in the Crown of the Water Park. And this is very impressive, of course, good elements here. And we are gonna do some rides here. This is the first time we've been in a water park for like six years now. And we're gonna have some fun. So, here we are. I'm heading down towards the wave pool. So just, let's have some fun, guys. This is the fan spray. So what you do, you tap this on, the player music, watch this, it starts up like this, but if you hold it hard, that's how you work an automatic fan spray. <laughs> Anyway, this is the wave machine at Volcano Bay. Okay then, this is the uh, inside of uh, Volcano Bay at uh, the Universal Orlando Resort. And of course, I highly recommend any of you who've not been to the Universal Orlando Resort, you should also check out this water park, uh, the Volcano Bay. It's a brilliant water park, uh, full of thrills and excitement. Unfortunately, uh, I couldn't do any on-ride footage at this park. That's because Universal don't allow people to film on the majority of the attractions at uh, Volcano Bay. Uh, but however, it has been a fabulous time over at Volcano Bay. And for those people who've not been to the Universal Orlando Resort, you should... Uh, uh, visit this uh, water park once again and of course you've got the two lovely universal hotels the cabana bay and uh, shout out to mac blogs uh, obviously i enjoy watching your videos especially when you talk about uh, cabana bay
So, uh, after having a lovely time over at uh, Volcano Bay, uh, we're now heading into the world's largest uh, McDonald's restaurant. And, of course, there is an elevator made by ThyssenKrupp. And you probably guess the torch was okay, on. Go to two. Anyway, this is the elevator at uh, McDonald's, the world's largest McDonald's on International Drive in Orlando, Florida. And this is a ThyssenKrupp elevator capacity, 2,100 pounds. And you probably guess the torch is on. Here we are, two. Let's go down to one. I go. Hello, coming down? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay, we'll have a nice day. One more time. One more time. Very nice elevator. If you remembered in the original World's Artist McDonald's, there was a Delta elevator, but however, this one's a ThyssenKrupp. As you know, the four number is different here in America. You've got two for level four, the first floor, and one for the ground floor. Let's go down to one, back down to one. And uh, lifts are known as elevators here in America. Going back down, down to one. And here we are, down at one. And that's it. Okay then guys, here we go. We are driving down International Drive here in Orlando, Florida. Got some little outlet stores here, like the Harley Davidson store. And then of course there's a multi-story car park, the Walt Disney World store. And uh, this here used to be the old Bargain World. And of course there's Golden Corral behind it. Over here is Icon Park, which has the Star Flyer and of course the, the wheel, which used to be known as the Orlando Eye. And over there is Ripley's mm. Believe It mm. or Not. So here we are, just waiting at the traffic lights. So we've got a sign here for Jamaican Court. We've got the Uno Pizzeria and Grill. And uh, <coughs> we've got some iRide trolleys just across here. So uh, we're just waiting now. There's a Starfire, the tallest structure. It's a bit the same height as the BT Tower in London and Birmingham. Um, the, BT, the BT Tower. And uh, lights have now changed to green. And of course there's a Holiday Inn Hotel as well down here. There used to be no, as a hotel down here called the old Radisson Barchel Hello. Um, and of course, there's a slingshot. Now the slingshot used to be down at the old Magical Midway, but Magical Midway is gone. Uh, so here's the slingshot. And uh, you got bald shrimps, king crab. Well, it's called Eat at Joe's. And here's a bus. Uh, it's the <coughs> iRoid trolley. So that's the iRoid trolley. And just behind the slingshot, Used to be the site, the, uh, the site of the old Mikado, not to be confused with Mikado from the opera created by Gilbert's Gilbert and Sullivan's, <coughs> uh, the, the Gilbert and Sullivan's opera, the Mikado that was heard, that was actually heard in uh, in that'll <laughs> teach them. Um, so for those people who've watched that'll teach them. Uh, hover over to see that video. Uh, the uh, the Gilbert and Sullivan's opera, the Mercado. And uh, so just after that, well, that's now like some sort of golf course. And just next to that is double tr is the is the is what we used to refer to as Double Tree Castle. It's now known as. 
Newcastle Hotel and uh, we stayed there back in 2004 and that was way before this YouTube channel ever existed and it has uh, Fugitech elevators and uh, so here we go we're going down International Drive uh, lots of different units like Denny's, Senior Frogs, Hooters and of course they've got some geysers spraying across the road so unique these days that they've got these geysers and Bahama Breeze and we've got Bahama Breeze Island Grill and there's a Subway as well um, Walgreens Pharmacy if you need a pharmacy and um, there's even there's a lot of stuff here and just coming down here is of course the Upside Down Building Wonderworks so we're at Wonderworks, so that's the facade. Well, actually, it's only the facade that's upside down. It just makes it more attractive. The Wonderworks dinner show, and next to that's Point Orlando, which is the outlet shopping centre. We've been there multiple, we've been there back in 2005, uh, 2004, sorry. And um, so there's the Hyatt Regency. Uh, as we're coming towards the Orange County Convention Centre uh, the American version of the NEC because uh, if you know where the NEC is it's in Birmingham just close to Birmingham Airport and speaking of an airport it's not far away from Orlando International so up there is the Rosen uh, is the Rosen Centre so we're just um, so the Rosen Centre is right by us so we'll see once we've gone through the traffic all right then uh, as you probably know there was a car that's just gone past with a lobster on it is actually the car for red lobster and uh, we are now coming to the orange county convention center the american version of the nec Right then, we're just approaching the Orange County Convention Center, the OCC, the American <coughs> version of the NEC. And uh, and of course, yes, there's Scarlet Walkway here as well. So you've got the Scarlet Walkways here at the NEC, at the OCC. Why am, I, why am I saying the NEC? It's the OCC. And just to clarify, uh, the Rosen Center's here but there is a uh, another one down there I believe so I do apologize for that so here's the the, the, the link bridge and um, so we're now going past the OCC the, uh, the Orange County Convention Center the American NEC I know they hold events in there like IAPA uh, International Amusement Parks and Attractions Expo so it's a massive <coughs> massive building the convention center is and um, we've got the denny's here and of course you've got uh, like convention center the icc in birmingham in the heart of birmingham and here is red lobster so you've got red lobster uh, dunkin donuts and of course there's a mcdonald's here at the bottom of international drive so um and of course there's a pinky bus right here and um, here we go we are now heading uh, up international drive so there's a sign with a plane on it that includes um, for the airport for birmingham uh, for Manch uh, for orlando international airport right so uh, here we are we've just gone past uh, a McDonald's and a Red Lobster right on International Drive and uh, we are just now by the SeaWorld complex <laughs> we could roll it in the so we're just now by the SeaWorld complex here so we've got uh, there's a book there's the <laughs> iRide trolley just right there uh, very nice uh, uh, the iRide trolleys are so unique got the advertising for the iFly and uh, so this is the Sea World complex, the Sea World. So there's the Sky Tower, the tallest structure. 
And uh, there's the two roller coasters, Kraken and of course uh, the um, the Maiko. And then of course on the left hand side is the SeaWorld Water Park Aquatica, which opened in 2008. And if you look at Kraken, it used to be a pale blue colour, but now it's been painted into green colour. So I'd refer that as Kraken Reborn. So I'd call that Kraken Reborn. Uh, similar to what how they did it with Nemesis at Alton Towers back in the UK in Staffordshire. So um, traffic lights are now on red. So we'll be. I'll see you. Uh, once we've gone through the lights.
Okay, continue, uh, continuation on the journey. And uh, coming up is Vineland Village. So Vineland Village, and of course there's a Walgreens nearby. So you've got a Walgreens pharmacy. And there's Vineland Village. So that's, so this is Vineland Village. So we're actually coming onto the property of Vineland Village. Uh, Orlando Premium Outlets. So you got Publix here as well. So you got, so you got Publix with a Subway and UPS stores and uh, Starbucks. So you got Starbucks and here's a fire engine. So you've got a fire engine. Uh, so shout What's out to things? Blue Light Fazbear. I'm sure you love your fire engines. And here's one just for you. Oh, there's actually another. There's actually an emergency vehicle. Oh, yeah. And um, so here we go. Some good emergency vehicle. Oh, it's Orlando Fire Risk. So we're right by the Orlando Premium. Alright, so this is the elevator at Forever 21 at the Orlando Vineland Premium Outlets here in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. And this is a Schindler elevator capacity, £4,500. And as you can tell, torch is on. Here we are, two. Go down to one. Go down to one. I'm having a talk that music out in here. Talk, 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 talk. Talk, 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 talk. So we're gonna talk that music out in here. Now, floor numbering's different here. Uh, first floor is referred like ground floor and second floor, first floor, of course. So we're gonna go up one more time and finish on two. Shinlap, this is a very massive Schindler elevator. And here we are, one. Go up to two to finish. So we're gonna go up to two. And talk, 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 talk. Oh. Anyway, go down to one, talk, 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 talk. Anyway, this is the elevator at Saks Fifth Avenue off Fifth at uh, the Orlando Vineland Premium Outlets in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. And this is a Schindler elevator, capacity £5,000, and you can tell me torches on. And this elevator is so tall. Here we are, one. Go back up to two. You've got two rear and one rear. Talk, talk, talk. Let's go up. Very nice, this elevator is. So tall. So have a talk the music. Gosh, this elevator's so tall. Never seen any of these, any elevators like this. So interesting. It's so tall, the ceiling. Here we are on the second floor. Wait for the doors to open. And that's All right, it. Right then, here we are outside the Saks Fifth Avenue off Fifth store. Now, if you remember, there used to be a Saks Fifth Avenue department store at the Florida Mall, uh, located on Orange Blossom Trail. But sadly, that Saks Fifth Avenue closed in 2014 to make room for the dining pavilion. So we will be going over to the Florida Mall uh, real soon. So please make sure you stay tuned for that. Guys, here on the YouTube channel, Joe's Bus Train Plane Lift Adventures. So I just hope you enjoyed the elevator in Saks Fifth Avenue.
All right then, this is the elevator to the bridge link at the Orlando Vineland Premium Outlets here in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. And this is also a Schindler capacity, 3,500 pounds. Here we are on three. And we're gonna go back to one. It's a bit, bit noisy, this elevator is. We are three. Go down to one. Go down to one. Gonna talk, talk, talk. How about I still talk the music out in here? Now this was uh, fully glass, but actually they've covered this bit with advertising. Here we are down at one. Here we are at one. We're arriving on level one. Wait for the doors to open up, and that's it. Okay then everyone, this is the elevator at the parking garage at the Orlando Vineland Premium Outlets here in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. And guess what elevator it is? It's another Schindler and the capacity is £3,500. Let's go to four. And this is a glass elevator too. Gosh. Here we are at four. The rooftop car park. They call it parking garages here in the US. Look, lovely view up there. Go down to one. Schindler elevator. Blimey, this, this area is full of Schindler elevators. So we're going down. Another Schindler like the Forever 21, the Link Bridge and the Saxon Avenue off fifth. Here we are at one. Just arriving now at one. Wait for the doors to open, wait till the elevator stops and the doors have opened. Here we are, at one, and that's it.